This is going to show you how you can decode the time. All time is done in UTC time, which just stands for Universal Time Coordinate. It's basically the time in Green Greenwich, England. Uh, sometimes it's called Zulu time, sometimes it's called GMT. It, it, it's all the same. We use this because, I mean, everybody across the world uses all this data, and you can't just list it as, you know, Eastern Standard or Central Standard. You have to make sure that it's something that everybody in the world can adjust their clock to. And so somebody picked Greenwich, England was going to be where the Prime Meridian is and that's where they were going to set the time. So that's how we get our times. Um, it's also based off the military time clock. And so I have shown here the military clock if you're not familiar with it. Basically it's just a 24 hour clock. So instead of going from noon to 1 p.m. it'll go from noon it'll go 13, 14, 15, 16 and all the way across to the, to the 24 hour which is midnight. So when you're doing this <coughs> We are, right now, because we're in Central Standard Time, we are six hours from UTC, the Greenwich, England time. So if you take the 12 UTC, you subtract the 6, you get 6 a.m. Well, 600, or 6 a.m., is the a.m. portion of the military clock. To give you an idea of using the other side, the 13, 14, 15 side, if you take 20 UTC and you subtract 6, and you get 1400, which that is in military time. And then if you look on the clock for the military clock, it's actually 2 p.m. That's Central Standard Time. Now, during the semester, we are going to end up switching to daylight in just a couple months, actually. So you'll have to end up subtracting 5. So right now we're 6, and then in a couple months we'll be 5 hours from Greenwich, England. Now, there's also many charts on the Internet that you can use that would convert it for you, and you don't have to... Know, go through and do the math calculation, but I did want to show you how you actually get that math calculation. Here's one for standard time, and then here's one for daylight. I'll post this on Blackboard as well, but you can just go across here, find the GMT, which is also, remember, the UTC or the Zulu time, and then go across to Central Standard, and then you'll be able to find out what time it is that way. Um, keep in mind, too, that some of the weather maps will have numbers after it, so say this was 6 and then it was 12, so it would be like 6, 12 a.m. You would say it as 12, 12 for the UTC time. So it, it does give minutes for some things. Usually it's just surface maps. Usually all the forecast models and upper air charts and all that stuff is actually just a number without anything after it. It's just a basically on the hour kind of a, kind of a deal. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email on this.